Hello everybody, Lorenzo here. Welcome to another video. We're in the Super Formula Lights for this one, a series I've been loving. 2.4K strength of field race. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one, guys, because it got real, real spicy. And if you enjoy, please consider liking, consider subscribing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's get on with it. Oh, and I had a pretty bad qualifying session, so we're starting in P13 in this one. So let's see if we can... Uh... If we can stay out of trouble. Green flag, green flag. There's an incident behind. And already we're off to a good start. Car right, too wide. Clear on the right. Right side. Keep to the left. You're on the left. Three wide. Left side, two wide. Clear on the right. I think that's a pretty good start. The guy behind me is blinking like crazy, though. You got a slow car on the left. Go right. There's an incident ahead. <laughs> Guys, it's popping. Just gotta keep doing my thing. Let's go, baby. Let's remember cold tires. Car is feeling pretty understeery, but we're getting there. Took a little bit more gravel than what I would have liked. <laughs> Oh, look at this uh, draft train. <laughs> You're in the top 10. Okay, we made a few positions already, P8. So that's good. Oh, that orange car is about to have a horror. Oh, oh man. Whew. I really had to slam on the brakes there, and one guy is off, he's gonna come towards me, we went to the right, the guy behind me got absolutely slammed into. I don't know if you guys saw that in the rear view mirror, but the guy behind me got taken out. Let's keep going. Here goes another one. Where is he going off? Oh my days. People are falling off the track like flies, guys. Let's keep going. And all right, that was a great start to our race, but let's look at some of the early incidents as cars 2, 3 and 11 come together at turn 4 on lap 1. So there was three positions already that we gained, followed by another freebie due to a racing incident between car number 8 and 10 at the beginning of lap 2, and a third and final incident pushing us forward by Domi Martinez making this mistake, hitting the sausage curb in the chicane and losing control of his car. And so as we cross the finish line for the beginning of lap 3, we will have gone from P13 at the beginning to P6 now. Let's see what happened next. I still feel like I haven't really fallen into a steady rhythm, so let's try and do that now. We're in P6. Just imagine if I would have qualified well, guys. <laughs> but then maybe I, I would have gotten taken out. There goes another one. Every time there's an accident ahead, it just kind of slowly takes me out of the zone. So I really want to try and put my head down and concentrate. Now, the issue is that now the cars ahead of me all have draft from each other. Which means it's going to be difficult for me to catch up if they're consistent. Ahead. You got a slow car on the left. Another one bites the dust. 
Another two bites the dust? <laughs> guys, <laughs> what is this race? Are these guys all paid actors or something? <laughs> And that is how, in literally one lap, I went from P6 to P2. I genuinely could not believe what was happening on track. Everybody is crashing. First, we had the leader of the race, Alex Cascales, making this mistake at turn one. Losing his car, giving us a free position. We then had Dylan in P4, hitting the car ahead of him, and then the bearer at full force, in the second chicane. And finally this incident between car number 9 and car number 10 with car number 9 again rear-ending car number 16. Why does everybody keep rear-ending car number 16? Keep that in mind because we're gonna take another look at that later as it will change the course of this race. Let's rejoin the live action at the end of lap 4. I'm sitting in P2 and I really started putting pressure on myself to increase my lap times to try and win this race. I need to get into the 32s if I want any chance at uh, winning this race. And I know that I can do 32s, guys. I know that I can get the 32s down. I feel like I got closer to Matthew. Uh, 33-2, that's better. I was half a second faster than him in that lap. I know that I can get in the 32s. Come on, baby. Inevitably... All the pressure that I was putting on myself got to me and I started making mistakes, allowing the cars behind to catch up. Uh, I can't believe I got a slowdown there. Uh, that sucks. Come on. Gap behind is still 0 0.8. We can still try and fix this. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, he's gonna attack me now. I'm not sure if defend... Uh, let's defend. Let's just defend it. But he's gonna be faster through the corner. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Yeah, I did that to myself. I did that to myself, but we're still in P3. Let's keep going. Let's not give up. Let's keep going. We're still in P3. Oh, my God. What is happening? Car right. I'm suddenly making all kinds of mistakes. Still there. Hold your line. We're still side by side. Keep to the left. Nothing, Clear guys. Right. Left side. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Nothing. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to sit behind him. Damn! How to lose a podium in literally half a lap? Everything was going quite well, and then just a cascade of mistakes, one after the other. Let's let's calm down, head down. The car in P2, just at the fastest lap. We're still in a good position. And so at this point, I just tried to stay positive, guys. I knew I had more pace than the guy ahead. So let's try and fight back and try and grasp that podium position again. Let's go. Five, six. Car on your left. Still there. Clear on the left. And we take the podium position back. Right side. Keep to the left. Clear. We're gonna shut the door. I think I have more pace than him, so definitely want to try and build a gap here. That was a good overtake. 0 0.4 behind, he might come and attack me. He might come back and attack me. Let's see what he decides to do. Okay, he did it. I left the door open because I didn't think he would dive in, but he did. So now we know for next time to keep the door shut. The leader's gone off. 
Oh, P1 and P2 went off. Guys, P1 and P2 went off. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Okay, let's figure out what happened. Let's go back and take another look because this was a majorly controversial moment in this race. It's the last lap of the race and you're looking at car number 10 in P22, a back marker. And as car number 16 comes close, unexplicably car number 10 drives straight into the side of them. Was this a mistake? Because it almost looks intentional. So let's dig a little bit deeper. So I went back and checked to see if those two cars had any problems in earlier parts of the race. And unfortunately, here's what I found. Car number 10 picked up a slowdown penalty in lap 4 and then decided to serve it in the worst possible way through this chicane and then through the right-hander following it, taking out three cars in the process and one of them was car number 10. So I believe that this was a retaliatory act on the final lap of the race and without it, we probably wouldn't have gotten on the podium. White flag, guys. One last chance. Where are we? Are we P2 or P3? Okay, we're in P3. First Super Formula race of the night, guys. P3, let's go, baby. Yes! That's an awesome result. I'm super, super happy with that. Let's go, guys. Yes! Come on! That's how we do it, baby. P3 from P13. Awesome P3. It could have even been a P2, to be fair. I did make a few mistakes uh, somewhere around the middle of the race, which meant I lost that position. But damn, am I happy with this podium, guys. Only five X's, which is also okay. Super, super happy with that podium, guys. What a race. Let's go. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, please consider leaving a like, consider subscribing, and if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.